Viewers, this is Iruiru TV and welcome to the morning news edition. I am Theoneste Iakarimia. Here is what makes headlines. <music> Kenyatta University orders students back to class as confusion surrounds lecturer's strike. Matiang Pacific Sugar Syndicate warns traders. Former U.S. President Barack Hussein Obama is set to visit Kenya on July 16th. President Uhuru Kenyatta orders lifestyle audit on all public servants. C.S. Amina's appointment of four university vice chancellors challenged in a court. Welcome to the news in details. Kenyatta University has directed students to report back to classes amid the confusion over lecturer strike statement signed by Vice Chancellor Paul Wainaina and lecturers for the second semester of 2015-2018 academic year will resume immediately. Yeah. Tefi Wairimu reports. Power! 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 Professor Wainaina said the decision to continue with teaching and learning was reached following the order by the Industrial and Labor Relations Court that declared the varsity's union strike unlawful and unprotected. He said the workers have individually committed to obey the court order and resume duties. Learning was paralyzed in 31 public universities across the country since March 1st after lecturers went on strike to demand pay increment. The strike, which has affected more than 600,000 students, was called by the university's academic staff union, UASU. The teaching staff downed their tools to push universities and the government to implement the 2017-2021 CBA. Reporting for Riru TV, I am Steffi Wairimo. Matiangi Basi Fake Sugar Syndicate warns traders. Interior Cabinet Secretary Freddy Matiangi has issued a stern warning to businessmen and the state officials involved in the sale of counterfeit sugar. Speaking during a press briefing on Wednesday at the DCI headquarters, a visibly enraged Matiangi stated that the prolification of fake goods in the country is unacceptable. What we are selling around and mixing as sugar has got high content of mercury, you know, has got high content of copper. They are killing us because they are selling poison to all of us and none of us is safe. We should not pretend. I am not under any illusion that we are engaged in a very serious war. A war that could mean anything. It could mean even the lives of some of these officers. And it could mean even the lives of some of us. But let me tell you quite clearly, we are ready. Former U.S. President, President Barack Hussein Obama is set to visit Kenya on July 16th. Sylvia Nkatha has details. The one-day visit will see him hold talks with President Uhuru Kenyatta at State House, Nairobi, before traveling to his ancestral home of Kogelo to visit with his relatives. He'll then proceed to South Africa, where he'll deliver the annual Nelson Mandela Lecture the next day. The former president will not be accompanied by members of his family. This will be the first visit to Kenya after he left office on January 20th last year. 
He has visited Kenya three other times in 1987, 1992, and the high-profile visit in 2015 when serving his second term as president. Sources indicated that the former president, who enjoys a bipartisan support in the country, is also likely to meet opposition leaders. Uhuru Kenyatta orders lifestyle audit on all public servants. President Uhuru Kenyatta has intensified his role on graft by announcing that all public servants will undergo a compulsory lifestyle audit to account for their sources of wealth. Carol Ngong is our reporter, has the details. President Uhuru Kenyatta said all public servants, including himself and Deputy President William Ruto, will be asked to explain the source of their wealth and all those found to have blundered public offers will be put to task to explain the source of their wealth. He said public servants hiding behind the names of their wives and children will also be smoked out in the audit. On top of the actions that we are already taking to Taanza Sasa, Ile yambaya inaitwa lifestyle audit ya maofisa wote wa serikali. Ndiyo wewe tunakuona haya basi. Hii nyumba, pesa, hii mshara ndiyo hii, hii ulinunua na mnagani. Hii ulinunua na mnagani. Hii gari yambaya unapeleka na usijaribu kuweka kwa jina ya biyako wa mtoto yako, tutajua ni yako, ulitoa wapi. You must explain. Na ule wa kwanza kufanyua lifestyle audit ni mimi kwa sababu mimi ndiyo mfanyikazi number one. Sindiyo hiyo? Yes. Mimi alafu tuende kwa huyu, alafu tuende kwa governor, alafu tuende kwa masharia. Kila mtu aseme hii maisha unaishi, unaishi kwa njia gani. Sini namna hiyo? Hii pesa unatoa, unatoa wapi? Na kama huna jibu, kuna mungine kamiti anakugojea huko na atakupatia jibu yako. On Wednesday, the president directed all government entities and public-owned institutions to publish full details of tenders and awards from July 1st. Kama ni hii barabara ambaye na jengwa hii, tenda ilishindwa na nani? Alishinda kwa sababu walitoa tenda kwa pesa ngapi? Uli alikuwa namba mbili, alikuwa nani? Uli alikuwa namba tatu, alikuwa nani? Kwa nini alipatiwa huyu wa kwanza badala ya huyu? All these reasons wa Kenya waone application will allow members of the public to access the information including detail including details of the items or services purchased contract prices and the particulars of suppliers including owners directors and beneficial ownership reporting for Ruru TV I am Caroline Gongo back to the education CSC Amina's reappointment of four university vice chancellors challenged in a court Education Cabinet Secretary Amina Mohamed's recent appointment of four vice chancellors, whose terms were set to end this month, have been challenged in the court. The petitioner, Dr. Wilfred Itolondo, claims that the renewal of contracts for VSCs in the Technical University of Kenya, Jaramogi Oginga Odinga University of Science and Technology, University of Kabiang and the Masai Mara University is defective. National news, a growing number of women in Bangladesh are being left and deserted by their husbands. Salah Khatun is deeply cynical about marriage, one of the many Rohingya women trying to come alone in the refugee camps of Bangladesh. She was left by her husband and has five children to look after. On top of the trauma caused by gang rapes in Myanmar and the pressure for girls to get married at a young age, a new issue emerging for women in the camp is abandonment. Those working there report a rising number of husbands simply leaving either to slip off into the black column of Bangladesh beyond the Rohingya settlements or with other women. A welcome to the business news. Today in the studio we have a political analyst and uh, she once happened to be a chemist expert. Her name is Steffi Wairimu. 
Wairimu, good morning. Good morning, how are you? Welcome to the Ruiru TV News. Thank you so much. The topic of today is there is this issue of mercury in the sugar all over Kenya. Yeah. If everybody knows uh, mercury in chemistry, the mercury being expensive, how do you expect mercury to be in the sugar, which can cost 100 per kg, let's say 100 or also more, 100. And the mercury 50 milligram is 1K. Which is the the secret behind behind this issue of mercury in the country? Actually, when I saw it first, the news it was on Real TV. Um, they are saying that the the sugar has the sugar the sugar we are importing has mercury, but mercury is too expensive. Nobody can buy mercury. Um, fifty grams cost a thousand shillings. You can't yes, buy yes. it for sugar worth two kg, which costs a hundred and ninety shillings. So for me, I think this is just a political um rant to just overtake the nys scandal that was going on yeah mm -hmm. and and the nys um allegedly the nys scandal the, the people who are involved in it were left on bail you know like they did nothing happened to them yet the president is saying he's bringing um uh, the, the liar detectors is bringing all this but how are they going to help us if we catch criminals at the same time we let them go then two days later we are having another scandal so i think all this is just to to just make that disappear or people to forget. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, so to decide on that, we should say that the country or the politicians are playing a game to cover the scandal of NYS so that maybe those in politics would not lose their job or do what? Yeah, I think it's, it's a matter of politics because after... The, but but I think they didn't play their game well because two late two two days later we saw the first families involved with the mercury scandal. We are seeing the brother to the excellency. Exactly the, there. Yeah, he's they there. might so be like okay, let's put it well. them here. Yeah. So that they forget about NYS yeah. scandal. Uh, on our Twitter we have received the some comments and uh, the juicy from our, the Ruiru TV audience. Uh this is Peter. Peter said, this is a scam to cover NYS scandal. Uh-huh. Uh, this is Tom. Tom is, um, they want us to forget about the story in the billions. The same is our NYS still. Huh. Uh, Winnie from Kakamega. Kenyans will always be lied by bringing unrelated issues to pray they are political games. Ha! Huh. This is an NYS scandal that they want to cover. Simply from audience, this is a NYS scandal that the politicians want to play their games to cover the stolen billions. Yeah. So the Macari scandal is in the country to cover. It's, it's I think that is what I think. As a political analyst, I think when you analyze uh, how this story has come just immediately after the end, there have been too many scandals, but there is too much pressure on this mercury because sugar is like every, half the country depends on this sugar to survive. Sugar, yeah. 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 So Even I think, the, yeah. those who are saying to, are said to sell the sugar consume yeah. the same sugar yeah they consume so the there sugar. is nothing with our sugar <laughs> I, I i barely <laughs> think you know because, sugar, yeah, eh? because after all i just think it's just a political run to just make us forget about what was going on but yeah they didn't play the game well two days later we are seeing the first families involved in it so uh, okay so yeah. huh, the viewers thank you so much uh this was Steffi taking us through the analysis about the scandal of sugar and the NYS scandals, which were, were paired in just two days after the first one of the scandal of NYS happened. They brought in the sugar scandal. Steffi, thank you so much for having taken your time to come to our studio. Thank you so much, Steve, for having me. Okay, have a nice day. We will take a short break. We will be back in the sports scan.
Kisa rap normal programming to bring you breaking news. Hey you! Yes you! Wame ketia bo mevoa t-shirt yellow. Yes you! Top up and win 50 cars in 50 days with Telcom. Igari neza kuwani yako au siyo! The more you top up, the more your entries are, and the more chances you have of driving away with a brand new Toyota Belta. Nangotia nini watu wangu? Start topping up now. Join Telcom today for your chance to win in the top up and win. Mom. Hey, Gary Nyangu. 50 cars in 50 days promotion. See press and posters for details. Excuse me. Nani ya tani scratch ya? Telcom. Moving with you. Nataka kutoa pesa. Niko na anniversary. Nimesahau Mpesa pin. Si tumejitambulisha your reset pin yako? Ah, sitaki kushinda kipiga simu safari kwa sababu kuna maswali nyingi. Naibu wako kama naye alikuwa nani? Eh, mwalimu wako asadi siku kama sikubuki pin, nakumbuka hizo kweli. Na si nilendo mlifanya birthday juzi Mombasa? Hiyo ilikuwa ya bibi, sasa hii ni ya mtoto. 3 and a half days. Ah, you. Eh, ni madam, wachana na. Naomba ni replace sim card. Naweza tumia jitambulishe. At Safaricom, my voice is my password. Your SIM replacement request has been successful. Thank you. At Safaricom, my voice is my password. Correct. A new star key will be found. Ditambulishe, the easiest and secure way to access Safaricom services. At Safaricom, my voice is my password. To register, dial 100 or 200 and select the Ditambulishe option. At Safaricom, my voice is... It's my password. Correct. A new start key. Classic Croatia trash poor Argentina to storm the round of 16 in the World Cup. Lionel Messi's World Cup dreams was left hanging by a thread as Croatia pulled into the last 16th with a three root of Argentina here on Thursday. If it is Messi's time, then tonight will have to be a major turning point. Mercado steps across at the other end. Oh, that's a gift for Rebic, who finishes it absolutely magnificently. They fell apart at the back, but they were punished in stunning fashion. And now Argentina are staring at major, major problems. Modric. Now he'll unleash one! Sensational goal from Luka Modric! And surely now, Croatia's golden generation are on their way to the last 16! Rakitic. Kovacic outside him. Rakitic goes on! Kovacic, Rakitic, they're going to walk it in! Job done in style for Croatia. Argentina bedraggled, ragged, desperate, and with real, real work to do. Croatia's dream is well and truly on. Argentina nil, Croatia three. Second half goals from Ante, Robic, Lucas Modric, and Ivan Rakitic sealed a deserved victory as the poor Argentina were left on brink of a humiliating first round exit. <laughs> Uh, 
This marks the end of our today's news morning edition at Ruiru TV. Thank you for having tuned in to Ruiru TV. I'm your host, Tonetia Karemye.